Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the best possible footstep audio in Warzone if you play on PC by using Equalizer APO. Let's get into it. Step number one, you're going to go to your in-game settings to the audio tab. You're going to click on the audio mix and you're going to change it from whatever you currently have it set to to midnight mode. From there, you're going to change the master volume, make sure it's at 100. And you're going to change the effects volume, making sure that it's also at 100. From there, music and dialogue, their personal preference, set those to whatever you'd like. All right, after we've adjusted the in-game audio mix, we are then going to download and install Equalizer APO. You can either go to the link in the description or you can Google search Equalizer APO. Go to sourceforge.net, click on download. Wait for the download to finish. Open the installer file, click yes, next, I agree, next, install. Okay, this is the configurator screen. This window shows all of our output sources and input sources, microphones and whatnot. Currently what we're looking for, you won't have anything selected the first time you see this. You're looking for your output source that your headphones are connected to. You're looking for the output source that you listen to the game audio from. In my case, I have an external DAC, the DX3 Pro Plus. You may have a GoXLR, you may have a Beacon Mix Create, or some other way that you're connected to your computer. If you are connected directly to the motherboard and you are using a Realtek audio driver, okay, you're plugged in to the back of your PC. What you will need to do is click on the check mark here, click on troubleshooting options. Let's select the device first. Click on troubleshooting options, and then you need to install as SFX EFX. And you may even have it in uh, parentheses afterwards. It may say experimental. In order for this to work, and you use a Realtek audio driver, you must click on the troubleshooting option. If you skip this step and you're plugged in directly to your motherboard, it will not work. So click on whatever your, whatever your output source is, click on the device, click on the connector, and then click OK. If you are on a Beacon Mix Create, if you're on a GoXLR, if you're on a DAC, something other than a Realtek audio driver, you don't need to install with this troubleshooting SFX option. Okay. Now click OK. Um, because I already have this installed on the devices that I use, I'm not going to do that, but you get the idea. Okay, at this point, you need to reboot your computer. If you don't reboot your computer, it won't go into effect until you do it. So in order for us to go to the following steps, reboot your computer and come back to this video. Because I already have it installed, I don't need to do that, so I'm going to hit finish. Okay, our next step is then to open Equalizer APO. You're gonna to go to your program files, whether you're on Windows 11 or Windows 10. You're going to find Equalizer APO and open the configuration editor. The first time you open the configuration editor, this will be blank. Um, I have a microphone set up and I have equalization applied to my microphone along with some other settings here. That's why these two um, uh, items show here at the top, but for you it will be blank. In another video I'll kind of explain uh, how we can set this up for our microphones as well. But for this video what we're going to do is we're first going to add the device that we want to control. So we're going to select our device, we're going to hit change. Instead of it being all devices, we're just going to select the one device that our headset is connected to. In my case it's my external DAC. So we're going to click OK. Now, everything that I add below this will affect this particular output source, OK? So that's the next step, is setting up our output source. From there, we are now going to create a neutral frequency response curve. So every headset has a different frequency response curve. We need to adjust the frequency response of our headset to be more neutral than it currently is. Um, this will basically be a starting point for all of our adjustments to the footstep audio after this. 
So how are we going to create a neutral frequency response curve for our heads up? We're going to go here. We're going to add a filter. We're going to add a graphic equalizer, graphic equalizer with variable bands. Okay. From there, we're going to go to Google again, or the link in the description, and we're going to look up the auto EQ project. Okay. What the auto EQ project is, is it's basically a group of people who have measured the frequency response curves of hundreds of headsets, literally hundreds of headsets. And what they have done is they have measured the frequency response and created presets that adjust that frequency response to a more neutral curve, basically. So as I scroll down here, you can see there are literally hundreds of different headsets. I'm going to look for mine, which is the Sennheiser PC38X. Go through here until you find yours. Uh, there may be multiple results. Just click on the top one. Okay, in here, if I scroll down, this is the frequency response graph for that headset. Uh, there's kind of a lot to take in here, but basically the black line is the raw data um, and the blue line is the adjusted curve. Okay, so we're going to use their presets to, to tune our headset, to improve our headset, basically. So we're going to click here on graphic EQ um, here on this page. Okay, and you're going to see a bunch of lines right here. Um, let me move my camera down a little bit. Okay. You are going to see a bunch of information here. You're going to highlight from here on all the way to the end. Copy. Okay. Again, make sure you're not including the graphic EQ and the colon, just everything after that. So you're going to right click, copy that. You're going to come back to Equalizer APO. Make sure that this is clicked as variable. Click on the text edit here to the left, and we're going to paste all of that information. Then we're going to hit enter. Boom, just like that, you now have a tune headset that has a more um, neutral frequency response, basically. Okay, the next step is we are going to create an adjusted EQ. We're going to go here to the plus filter again. We're going to add a parametric peaking filter. We're going to come here again. We're going to go to parametric filters and we're going to select another peaking filter. For the first frequency, we're going to set this to 270 hertz. The second frequency, we're going to set it to 700 hertz. We're going to set the gain on both to 10 dB. Oh, got a weird sound there. And we're going to set the Q factor to 5 on both of them. If you look down here below in the analysis panel, you can see these two little peaks that we've created. Those are specifically targeting the footstep audio. The footstep audio in this game covers a wide frequency range. So in my test, what I've found is that 270 kind of targets the, the low to mid frequencies of those footsteps and 700 hertz is kind of more the high like clapping sound of the footstep almost um so a combination of the the amplification of both of those frequencies really makes the frequency uh, the footstep audio stand out a lot all right for our final step after we have created the neutral eq the adjusted eqs specifically targeting the footstep audio we are going to add a vst plugin a audio compressor okay so where you're going to find that is you're going to go to the link in the description or you can go to google and we are looking for tokyodon.net uh, specifically the tdr kotel nikov audio compressor okay or mastering compressor you're going to go down here to windows installer you're going to click on the install click accept and download don't worry about putting your email in you can see it's installed down here below we're going to click on the install file click on setup close this 
go through the installation process. Okay. Hit next. Hit accept. Okay. For equalizer APO, we only need the 64-bit versions. We do not need this 32-bit version. So you can click off of that. Click next. Um, after that screen, it will ask you where you want them to be installed. You need to keep track of the folder that you put these in because we're going to reference that folder momentarily. So when you finish going through the install, look at the folder that you put it in um, and because we're going to grab it in a second. So click on next, finish the install. I'm going to hit cancel because I already have these installed. Okay. Going back to Equalizer APO, we're going to click on the plus sign again to add a filter. We're going to go down to Plugins, and we're going to click on VST Plugin. Under Options, we're going to click on Embed. Then we're going to click on the File Opener, and we're going to look for the location of our VST plugins. For me, it's going to be under the Local Drive, Program Files, Steinberg, VST Plugins, and here you will see my file, tdr kotelnikov.dll. That's why you needed to know where you had installed those. Click OK. It's going to bring it down here into Equalizer APO. OK. What is the purpose of this audio compressor? Basically, what we are trying to accomplish is we are going to take the overall dynamic range of the audio in Warzone, and we're going to squash it. We're going to take all of those really, really loud sounds like the gunshots, the planes, the explosions. We're going to bring those down, and then we're going to use makeup gain to increase the volume of the quiet sounds in the game, specifically the footsteps. The footstep audio in Warzone is very, very quiet. From my tests, it landed, for the most part, from like negative 50 to negative 30 dB, which can be very difficult to hear at times, especially with teammates talking and gunshots going off and everything like that. So we're going to set our threshold here to negative 35 dB. Okay, so basically everything over negative 35 dB is going to get hit by our compressor and is going to get squashed down. Okay. We're going to leave our peak crest where it is. We're going to leave our soft knee at 1 dB. We're going to set our ratio to 5. Sorry, my mic is... Sorry if my mic is doing something crazy there while I'm adjusting that. Um, because my mic is being affected by the config file up here. Whenever I make adjustments in real time, it, it, it makes things go crazy. Okay. So threshold negative 35 dB ratio set to 5 over 1. We're going to set our makeup gain to 8. 8 dB. We're going to set our attack to 1 millisecond. Okay. We're going to leave our release on 80 milliseconds. We're going to leave our RMS on 220. And that's that. Okay, this is going to give you significantly better footstep audio than what you currently have. We're squashing the highest, we're squashing the loudest sounds in the game. We're bringing up the footstep audio and we're decreasing the dynamic range of the overall sounds in Warzone. Okay, we started off with a neutral EQ, we specifically targeted the footstep audio. You can go back to this later on if you want and fine tune these frequencies to whatever works best for you. From my test, this works great. Now, at the end of the day, the footstep audio in Warzone is kind of trash. The audio in Warzone is kind of trash. Supposedly, according to the rumors, at the end of Season 3, they are going to make improvements to that. Um, this should only help that. This shouldn't hurt that in any way, whether they adjust the overall mix of the footsteps in, uh, in Warzone, uh, whether they adjust the footstep audio uh, volume, I, I guess I should say, in Warzone, this will only help that. Again, at the end of this, you're going to hit File, Save on your config file, um, and then you're ready to hop into Warzone. Just make sure your audio mix is set to midnight mode. 
if you use your headset to listen to music, watch movies, or anything else, and you don't want these crazy settings uh, for footstep audio affecting what you hear from your headset, the nice thing is on the left over here, they have these power on and off buttons. So I can actually go here and I can turn off the compressor, turn off the, the peaking filters for those uh, footstep frequencies. And now I'm left with this neutral frequency response curve that we created, which is actually in itself going to improve any headset you're using. This is going to make your headset sound better than it already did. So you could just leave this on whenever you're listening to music or movies or whatever, and then just come in here and turn these on when you play Warzone, and then just hit save, and you can close the file. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Hope you learned something new. Please share this with anybody that you think could benefit from it. Hit that like button, and we'll see you in the next one.